we will do some more difficult question on solubility product let's take up how to predict precipitation so if the value of q is less than ksp there's no precipitate if q is, is is equal to ksp then also there is no precipitate the condition for precipitation is q should be greater than ksp and uh, before we go we will just revise on what is solubility product solubility product is when a solid uh, dissolves into ions and then uh, the ksp the symbol sp is given for solubility product and the concentrations of the uh, product ag plus and cl minus we call them as solubility and the solubility product can be obtained from literature the solubility product of silver chloride is given there the solubility can be calculated from the solubility product and the solubility can be expressed in moles per liter or it can be also expressed in grams per liter calculate the minimum concentration of calcium ions required to initiate precipitation of calcium fluoride from 0.25 molar sodium fluoride solution ksp of calcium fluoride is given so how do we proceed with these kind of questions they are asking the concentration of calcium ions so the solubility product is given so from the solubility product equation we have to just calculate the concentration of calcium ions so what how do we start first we should know how much is fluoride ions present sodium fluoride solution will ionize completely because it's the salt of sodium ions dissolved completely in water and i get the concentration of fluoride ions as 0.25 molar because that will be the concentration of sodium fluoride also so now i know the concentration of fluoride ion therefore write down the solubility product equation and uh, i have the value of solubility product i have the value of fluoride ions and then substitute the values and get the concentration of calcium ions predict whether precipitate will be formed when 500 ml of 1.5 10 to the power of my negative 3 molar calcium chloride is added to 300 ml of 1.2 10 to the power of negative 3 molar sodium carbonate ksp of calcium carbonate is given so now the in order to prepare uh, to predict any precipitation you need to calculate the value of q once you get the value of q compare it with ksp so to get the value of q i need to get the concentrations of calcium ions and carbonate ions since i am taking only 500 ml and the total volume becomes 500 plus 300 the concentration of calcium ion is calculated as shown the con concentration of carbonate ion is also calculated the 800 ml over there comes from the total volume 500 plus 300 once i have the concentration calculate the value of q and uh, substitute the values when i get the value of q compare it with the solubility product and i realize that the value of q is larger than ksp and therefore there will be a precipitate of calcium carbonate formed predict whether a precipitate will be formed when 400 ml of 2.5 10 to the power of negative 4 molar magnesium nitrate is added to 500 ml of 1.6 10 to the power of minus 4 sodium hydroxide the ksp of magnesium hydroxide is given and uh, as usual to start with you need to get the value of q and compare it with ksp so get the concentrations of magnesium ions and the hydroxide ion remember to take the total volume as 900 ml and once you get the concentration substitute it in the q magnesium hydroxide equation and uh, when the values are substituted the value for q magnesium hydroxide comes as 8.5 10 to the power of negative 3 negative 13 compare it with the solubility product of magnesium hydroxide given it is less than that and hence there will not be any precipitate for this kind of concentration solid sodium sulfate is added to a solution that has 0.010 molar calcium ions and lead ions name the compound that will precipitate first and the second part of the question is calculate the concentration of pb2 plus when calcium sulfate starts to precipitate then what percentage of lead uh, ions will remain in solution at this point so this is a three part question let's handle it one by one in order to this is a question in which 
I have two cations in solution and one anion is added into it. Therefore, I am going to get two precipitate, either calcium sulfate and lead sulfate. For the first part of the question, name the compound that will precipitate first. The general rule is, the compound with lower solubility will precipitate first. So, when I compare the solubility product of calcium sulfate and lead sulfate, I realize that lead sulfate has a lower solubility, hence lead sulfate will precipitate first. And the second uh, part of it, calculate the lead ion concentration when calcium sulfate parts starts to precipitate. So, what I mean by that is, so when I am adding the sulfate ions, the lead is going to keep getting precipitated and all the lead sulfate will get consumed, uh, all the lead ions will get consumed as lead sulfate. But it, there could be an overlap between the calcium ion precipitate and the lead ion precipitated. So that's why they are asking how much of lead will uh, we need to precipitate completely the lead sulfate. So use the solubility product equation. And in the solubility product equation, I have the solubility product of lead sulfate. I need to calculate the concentration of lead ions and uh, I need concentration of sulfate ions. How do I get the concentration of sulfate ions? So, we can use the solubility product of calcium sulfate to get the concentration of sulfate ions. And uh, because they have asked when calcium sulfate starts to precipitate. So, I have the concentration of calcium ions there. I have the CAKS, KSP of calcium sulfate. So, from that, get the concentration of sulfate ions. So, uh, in whatever is uh, the solubility product lead sulfate, 1.8 into the power of negative 8, that is equal to the concentration of PB2 plus, which I am supposed to calculate, times the sulfate ion concentration, which I got from the solubility product of calcium sulfate. And I get the concentration of PB2 plus. So, you can see that it has been uh, half of most of it has been used up, but still some amount of PB2 plus is remaining. So, the percentage of, uh, that is the C part of the question, percentage that is remains is 7.50 10 to the power of negative 5, almost a negligible quantity, but of course it is not uh, 0.